What's up guys? Uh, gonna do a quick video from my phone. Uh, wanna knock this out real quick and my camera is actually charging so I figured the phone would suffice. Uh, the Wicked Edge comes with a couple of parts that you want to keep together. Uh, me personally I like to organize things so and I also travel a good bit so the way the Wicked Edge comes it just comes with loose stones, a couple loose uh, parts that you need to keep track of. Uh, I like being able to, one thing I did appreciate about the Edge Pro is that it came in a kit that you could just kind of put together and it was actually a little carrying case that, that uh, the whole kit was self-contained in effect. Uh, the Wicked Edge is not like that, so one thing I wanted to be able to do is just grab the, the actual system itself and then everything else that I need to sharpen have in a little container like this and uh, finally figured figured out how to do that and keep it all together. Uh, there's a bunch of little Plano organizers meant for tackle that that didn't fit the stones just right. Uh, they were either free to move up and down or left to right. Uh, this keeps them in perfect. And you have enough space to expand, so you have enough space for the ceramics, uh, lower grit if you need it. Uh, you have space for all the stones that, that can be with the Wicked Edge from the lower grit to the ceramics and an extra set of straps, but it keeps everything you need in one spot, so all I have to do is grab the system itself and then this Plano box, and then I have everything I need. Uh, I really like organization. I don't know why, uh, but if I can organize it, it makes my life much better. Uh, one thing cool about this is you can keep the same grit stones in their own little compartment, and they don't move around. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's free to move with your hand, but when the kit is actually closed, they don't move around at all. Uh, how I have these in here is I have one stone sitting on top of the other like that. Uh, the diamonds aren't touching in any spot. It's just plastic on plastic. on plastic. As you can see, the platterns kind of fit together like that. And uh, once you get them even like this, they kind of slip in here, and these little... Uh, these little ports, not ports, these little spots that the dividers fit into keep the stones snug in here. So it keeps the stones together and it keeps them from bouncing up and down. So that's really cool. Uh, I got this Plano box at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, it was like six bucks, I think. So that's a really good deal. You can keep all your stones in here uh, and it's not an issue. Uh, I have my two strops in individual uh bags so they don't cross contaminate uh, you don't want to get your your larger micron size on your smaller micron straps so I have five micron and this is 3.5 you want to keep them separate have them in two separate sandwich bags and they're wedged together just like this is but they fit together in there just perfectly and they can't cross contaminate uh, have my sandpapers to get a mirror edge this is 1000 all the way to 2500 Works great to give me a mirror edge. Uh, this is just what I'm going to have to do until I receive the ceramics. Uh, this is a free spot. Don't I don't feel the need to fill it up right now. Uh, when I get the ceramics, they'll probably go here somewhere. And here I have my Sharpie, which I need to uh, mark on the edge. I have the, the piece that holds longer blades in. I have my stropping compounds. And I have... Uh, my allen key to adjust my arms, the tension on my arms. It keeps the play out of them. Over here is the little ruler that you need uh, to, to make the system repeatable, pretty much. You don't want to bend this. If this gets bent, it's going to skew, uh, skew your reading. It would have to be bent pretty bad to really skew it to, to the point that it matters. But I do want to keep mine as straight as possible. And keeping it in its own little container crossways, it doesn't move. Uh, nothing's hitting it to bend it at all. Something I did to keep this thing looking nice, uh, as you can see, the, the little etchings on here aren't that deep. So if this thing gets scratched up a good bit, it's going to be hard to read. Uh, so what I did, I laid this down on a cutting board, and I took clear scotch tape, and I taped it to the cutting board and then cut around it on both sides so in effect I laminated this thing with scotch tape uh, on both sides there is no free metal it's just scotch tape and you can't even tell uh, 
I cut out the holes after I was done with it and you honestly you can see the scotch tape in there but it works just fine and it's protected from the diamond dust and the metal dust and it's really easy to do you honestly just lay it down on a cutting board and tape over it and then cut around it and you have in effect a laminated uh, little ruler stick here so that's actually pretty cool uh, I didn't see that anywhere I just thought of that uh, so kind of proud of it I like it it's not gonna get scratched up so kind of like a screen protector on your phone uh, anyway this is the whole kit this video went on a little bit longer than I wanted it to but this is just a small Plano box uh, you can get them at Bass Pro I'm sure Walmart carries them as well but it keeps literally everything you need to sharpen in here other than the actual system so that's really cool uh, figured somebody might get some use out of this uh, maybe maybe not but figured I'd show you anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time